Come on, man. At some point, you got to call it. Partials is how you get paid. And you need that in the beginning. You need it. You need that little oomph, that push, that reminder. This is why I'm doing this. I've waited all this time for this setup to happen. I'm in front of the charts. I'm pushing it. I'm in there. I need to know I'm doing the right thing. How do you do that? You get your yellow belt. You get your blue belt that you're working towards your black belt, which is getting trades to go to terminus, your full targets. But nobody joins any martial art, walks out there, and the sensei says, all right, well, you arrived. Here's your participation award. Here's your black belt. But that's what you think. You would think that with all these people on social media. They watch videos, whether it be mine or other people's and shit, and all of a sudden they're trading in market replay and they're authorities in the whole business. It's tiresome. It's like once you taste the real shit, when you have filet, when you have filet, okay, a nice piece of filet right on the plate and you taste it for the first time, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, man. You just can't fucking have catfish, okay, <laughs> and think, oh, yeah, this, we're, we're on the same level here. We're not. It tastes like muddy water, okay? It tastes like shit. You want something, you want the real stuff, you want the meat and potatoes, you're getting that here. I don't care if you like me. I don't give a fuck if you think I'm the best mentor or not. I don't give a shit. I will teach you exactly how to rip this shit apart and build a life for yourself. And it's costing you nothing but the effort and time that you put into it. If you fail, you have failed. And the only way that failure occurs is if you quit. That's it. That's how quitting affects you. That's failure. The people that feel like they want to quit but keep pressing into it, they're the ones that are getting all these big payouts. They're the ones that are making the point of, I don't know I have to work anymore. I quit my job. They had people just like you that doubted them. They have people that still can't fucking believe that they made it. And believe me, I guarantee you, they have a whole lot of people that are fucking envious as shit now because they wanted them to fail. They wanted them to fucking fail so they can say, see, I told you, you're just like us. You're just like us. You're never going to be able to do it. So you should have just listened to us when we told you don't bother. Fuck them. Those are the people that you cut the fuck off. You don't make your business theirs. You don't give the, you don't give the wheel to them because they're going to steer your ass right into a fucking tree. As, as much as you may think they love you and they, may, they very well may love you, but they don't love you doing better than them. I'm going to say that again. Your friends and your family, they may love you. But they don't love you doing better than them. And that's true, especially when they tell you, you shouldn't be doing what you're doing here. It's a pipe dream. Let me tell you something. You know, what to, you know what's the sweetest fucking thing in the world? Here's the sweetest thing in the fucking world. Every Monday morning when I wake up, I stretch out my bed. I look around my room. And I'm like, you know what I ain't got to do today? Go to work. You know what my aunt and uncles and my cousins and my fucking best friends growing up through school are doing today? Going to work. I wonder what they're fucking thinking about right now. I'm only thinking about them because I don't have to do what they're doing. They're thinking about how much they don't want to be going where they got to go to get their money. Who's in a better position here? It has nothing to do with arrogance. This is how you combat that shit. Okay? All these fucking people around you Unless they're telling you, go, go, don't fucking stop, dig in, you are going to do this, then you tell them nothing. If you suspect that they're not going to support you 100%, why even invite them into the conversation? Don't. Because if you love what you're doing here and you want to make this your fucking life and your career and you want to pass the skill set on to your kids, should you ever decide to have kids, you're going to be thankful that you stuck in this it's hard it absolutely is hard but so is exercise and working out you think everybody has these beautiful 
symmetrical, you know, physiques that are aesthetically pleasing. Everybody strives for the bikini body, the summer body. You think they just got that because they watch shit on TV and watch exercise videos? That's the same thing you're expecting to do when you watch ICT videos. When you're watching me teach this stuff, I mean, if you're going to put your ass in front of the video or sit down and listen to me, okay, all I'm doing is giving you the instructions on what to do, just like that exercise video. You're not getting the repetition uh, you know, benefits that they're doing. They're sweating their ass off. They're making ad revenue off of you watching their shit or purchasing their, their program. They don't give a fuck if you exercise or not. They don't care. But here, I'm reminding you constantly, if you're just watching my videos and being entertained or using them as a fucking lullaby to go to sleep, some of you people do. <laughs> That's cool. I don't give a shit. Bottom line is, is you have to do the work. What is that work? What I'm going to put you through this year. And you'll see it's fun. It's actually fun. In the beginning, it'll feel like, what, what am I doing here? A couple weeks of it, you'll say, oh, shit, this, I'm starting to see it now. And those observations, the things that you see that I don't talk about, that is where you start mining. Meaning that's the direction that your personal personality, your unique perspective on price, that is starting to be activated. You're starting to see things in price, and you need to pay attention to it. It doesn't mean go on Twitter and say, ICT, I found this right here. And what do you think? It doesn't fucking matter what I think. If it's resonating with you, it's your business. Mind your fucking business. I'm not trying to mind your business. I got my own fucking shit to worry about. But the things that start making sense to you in the live streams, that's the beginning foundation to what you're going to be focusing on as a trader. You're not going to see why I'm calling a specific level important. Why are you picking that candle? But then when I talk about a fair value, you got like, oh, yeah, it makes sense to me. So what does that mean? You're not an order block trader. It doesn't mean I don't understand order blocks. Fuck fair value, guess I can see that easily. I'm going to conquer order blocks because something's there and I don't understand it. I'm going to waste my fucking time doing something harder than I could just simply follow what I see easily. The fair value guy. And either one of these things could be interchanged with whatever PD array. That's the part that most of you don't realize. You only need one. You could completely carve out your entire career with one model, one entry technique, your multiplier. That multiplier is the pattern that you key up on every single time you go into the marketplace. If there's not a breaker, you're not trading it. If there isn't a fair value gap, you're not trading it. They don't give a fuck if it keeps running up 100 handles. Who gives a shit? That wasn't your trade. Maturity is, I don't need that trade because I know all these other instances where my model is going to speak and I'll be able to activate a trade right there. And I won't worry about anything else except for the trade I'm in. I'm managing myself and I'm managing the trade I'm in. Fuck everything else. I don't give a shit what Bitcoin's doing. I don't give a shit what fucking FTX drama is going on. I don't worry about who's in office in the United States, who's fucking getting replaced in another country. I don't give a shit about none of that stuff. I'm in a trade. I'm watching that fucking market. I'm only giving a shit about that market. That's it. My focus is dialed in. I don't give a shit about what these other influencers are talking about on their live streams. I don't give a fuck about what they're trading. I don't give a fuck why they think this market's better than that market. Why aren't you trading the ES over the NQ? Why are you trading NQ, not the ES? Why aren't you trading Dow? I don't like fucking Dow. Dow is a piece of shit to me. Okay, It's too spotty. I have lots of students that make money with it. I personally don't fucking like it. Now, I use it for macro analysis. When I'm looking for it to confirm the averages, basically Dow theory, market breadth is strong if they're all in agreement. That means if they're all moving in the same direction, then that's a healthy market, and it's more likely to sustain its move if it's on a higher time frame. But I don't trade Dow. I'll trade NQ, NASDAQ, or I'll trade ES predominantly. ES, in, in my opinion, okay, if you had to say, Michael, you cannot trade any other market the rest of your life, what's, what's the market? The S&P. Any market but the S&P, ICT, bonds, the 30-year treasury bond. What's the other market? Oh, then it would be NASDAQ. Okay, apart from those three, if you had to pick one market, what would you trade? Ugh, nothing right now. Now, does that give you the order of importance now? 
I, I constantly see these same questions coming up. Did you, did you ever think about the, what I just said is what I said. That's it. After 30 years of doing it, that's, that's it. The only reason why I stopped trading Forex is because I believe that we're about to see something pretty devastating in terms of currencies. I don't want to be caught offside when that happens. Also, the currency markets are rather sloppy. It took basically an entire month for dollar to get down to our target that I mentioned in the first week of January. Go back and watch that video. Dollar went down to that fair value gap right in the middle of it. And for those who don't understand what I'm referring to, you'll see it in the analysis on Sunday. It went right down to consequent encroachment on the fair value gap on a daily chart. And look at the reaction we had the last two days. Boom! Pound only went to one target. And Euro went to all of them. Now, how many times did I call the S&P and NASDAQ? And how many times did it deliver? See the difference there? But Michael, why aren't you trading Forex? Uh, picture's worth a thousand words. If I'm not where the market's really going to be moving, I'm going to go to where it's moving easiest. I want the real clean price runs. And that's been going on in index futures. Should Forex start getting wild again, start really opening up, then I'll be more active in Forex. But right now, it's not worth my time. I'm not suggesting that you stop trading. If that's what you do, don't let me. I'm not trying to influence you, but you're asking me. So I'm telling you. I, had a, I read a tweet the other, I guess it was this morning. Guy says, ICT, it's time for me to go, you know, you're talking about futures. I'm only in Forex. I've learned how to trade. Thank you. I'm out of here. Okay, wonderful. That's exactly what I'm looking. I want independence. I'm not heartbroken over that. All right, I'm done, ICT. I know exactly what I'm doing. I'm making money. Appreciate you. See you. I'm not going to be leaving me. I want you to fucking leave me, okay? I want you to leave me happy, satisfied, profitable, knowing what the fuck you're doing. No regrets. That's exactly what a mentor should want. That's what you should want from your mentor. Not keep paying me. I love you. Keep paying me. Fuck out of here, man. You will get what you put into this this year. That's what you're going to get. If you half-ass it, that's the result you're going to get. If you pour yourself into it and really be diligent about what you're doing, studying and focusing and being organized with your journaling, I'm telling you, it's going to totally transform every aspect of your analysis, your thought process as a trader, and your executions will be much cleaner. You'll be more refined. You won't make a rush judgment. Your executions will be much fewer, but more of a quality entry versus, uh, I'm afraid I'm going to miss it. Let me just jump in here now in case it runs away without me. Or it went down to where you should have went, but then I want to see if it really, re really reacts there the way I'm expecting price. And then it does, and you chase a little bit. That stuff will be refined, and you'll see less of that. Only if you put the work into it. And be okay with the outcome. This is where you want to mess up. This is where you want to find out you did it wrong. You don't want to do that with your live account, trading with a funded account or your own money. You don't want to discover that you don't know how to manage yourself or your emotions or the psychological weight of being in risk. You don't want to learn that while you're out there in it. You want to master that progressively so that way you're not influenced. Once you've done months of back testing and tape reading and you've done months of demoing wait a minute I, only, I need to make money right now you're going to fucking fail okay you want the honesty you want the truth you're going to fail i'm not here to see you fail i don't want any of you to fucking fail i want you to get out there and fucking kill it replace your fucking job double that income i want you to have all that and more but i'm a practical realist I know that that doesn't work like that. It takes a lot of effort. It takes a lot of unlearning. And you all have things that I'm not aware of, which are character flaws. I don't know what your character flaw is. I don't know if you're impatient, impulsive, 
reckless, doubtful, stubborn, not willing to take a loss. That's a hard one for everybody. Can you be wrong and not lose your fucking mind about it all and think, oh, I've got to get it all back right now. I'm going to put you in a demo trade this year. I'm going to tell you to put this trade on. When I tell you to do that, do not do that with a live account. Because I'm going to put you in a losing trade. And I'm going to close the stream at the end of it and tell you don't try to get it back until the next live stream. And I want you to think about what that feels like and if it was real money. How hard that would be. How fucking devastating and irritating and just... Ugh, it's like a mosquito bite. You know it's there. You know damn well you shouldn't scratch it. Because if you scratch it, this makes it worse. And that's exactly what you experience when you have a losing trade with live funds and you did not learn how to trade. You're going to go back to scratching it. And the only thing it does, it makes it bigger and it's just worse. <laughs>